welcome one and all to the first round of this 2017 Formula 1 season. The sun is blazing high in the sky, setting us up for what looks to be a very interesting Australian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen took pole position ahead of the hometown hero Daniel Ricciardo as Red Bull looked to cement their position as the fastest car on the grid after their strong pre-season testing performances. Sebastian Vettel pipped Lewis Hamilton to third place as Kimi Raikkonen stole fifth from his compatriot Valtteri Bottas. Fernando Alonso made it P7 alongside the Haas of Romain Grosjean. The other McLaren, Haas and both the Renault drivers, however, did not fare as well. Lance Stroll outshined his teammate Felipe Massa, backing 11th on his debut for the Williams outfit. Both Toro Rosso struggled throughout qualifying, while Sauber got both their cars ahead of Manor, who were unfortunately right at the back. Anything can happen in the first race of the season, so let's go down to Sean Warner for the full grid. Red Bull look out the front row of the grid with Max Verstappen taking his first pole of his career. Both Ferraris got ahead of their Mercedes rivals, Vettel leading Hamilton and Raikkonen leading Bottas. Alonso is sat with Grosjean and his company, then Nico Hülkenberg is joined with the second Haas. Rookie Lance Stroll made it just out of the top 10 next to McLaren's rookie Stoffel van Dorn. The second Renault, Jolene Palmer, placed only just ahead of the struggling Toro Rosso of science. Force India take up the 8th row of the grid, with Esteban Ocon ahead of Checo. The second Toro Rosso and second Williams of Kvyat and Massa really struggled through qualifying. Pascal Verlein manages to place ahead of Felipe Nazar, and Marcus Ericsson placed ahead of the last man, Esteban Gutierrez. What is up guys, we are back here with the career mode and we are here in the 2017 season. Now, 2016 one stop because my laptop decided to implode and I basically lost everything. So that's great, that's exactly what you want. But we're here, way ahead of the real Formula 1 season. This is just um, basically just filler until the real season can, uh, can be recorded, which will probably be immediately straight after this so we're gonna go with the usual setup but a shout out to Nick make sure you go subscribe to him his link is in the description he's like three subscribers off of 250 so hopefully we can get him close to get into that mark as soon as physically possible but enough crap let's get to the grid It's been a few months since I've been sat on a grid um, doing a voiceover because we've got two red lights coming on for the full five. Hamilton to our right, Vettel ahead of us and Hamilton is going to get off to a great start. He's going to absolutely rinse us off of the start finish line. He's going to look between Ricardo and Vettel who Ricardo had a very bad start. We're going to take it very cautious as we don't want to damage any of our car. Ricardo took it too cautious so we're going to come up behind um, our teammate Sebastian Vettel and we're going to take his beautiful little bit of slipstream and we're just going to have to lunge it down his inside because we need to make as much position as possible we are nowhere near as competitive as the Mercedes and the Red Bulls so we need to make up as much ground as we possibly can because you're going to follow on a little bit more closer in to uh, lap 1 and you can see we're really close to Hamilton and he's going to absolutely squeeze us against the wall like a complete idiot and speaking of idiots we've got Daniel Ricciardo just going to come down our inside oh, what is he doing so we're going to be absolutely screwed we've got no race in line we don't know where we're going we think we're in bloody china this way and there goes sebastian vettel that's great we've gone down from fourth to fifth oh it's, it's not a great start but sebastian vettel's going to go wide again so we're going to have a look see if we can close up to him and get him around this section if we can we're going to hold a tight line but he's just gonna he's just gonna do us over so that's not a great start to the race. We already lost three positions on lap one, but hey ho. It's not the end of the world, but lap two, Sebastian Vettel goes very deep, and we're going to just glance around his outside. A reprofiled corner 
for this Australian Grand Prix, which is going to be very difficult for all the other drivers. Now you can see that Sebastian Vettel going into the wall. We've got Fernando Alonso just clattering into um, the back of him. So that is going to be Sebastian Vettel and Fernando Alonso out of the race. But we're back on lap four. We're up Daniel Ricciardo's gearbox with DRS. And we're going to have a go down his inside. Similar to Sebastian Vettel, but we're going to drift around the corner a tad bit more than we did there. And we put ourselves up into the podium positions from a really, really poor start. But we've got Esteban Gutierrez on lap five. Just going to park in the gravel in his manner. So that is not what he wanted at all. But lap six, you can see Hamilton has gone so deep trying to overtake Max Verstappen. That puts us up into P2 so that we're going to take that nice and lovely, and we've got Pascal Verlein going down the inside of Sergio Perez, and Verlein's going to keep the move on Perez, so that's very impressive actually, and we've got the other Sauber of Marcus Ericsson, who's got issues it seems, so he's going to pull up to the right hand side, and he's going to park it there for the day, nice job, and now lap 7, you can see we're not that close to Verstappen, we're keeping him honest, Hulkenberg behind us, so we're going to pit here on lap 7, Hulkenberg's going to come into the pits, along with a few other drivers we take it cautious into the pit lane so if we're not careful we could get really screwed over here in the pit stops and luckily we don't i'm um, surprised enough thought the red bull was going to come back out ahead of us and we we're going to be in a whole world of trouble basically but we're going to come out p4 doesn't look too bad i think we can do a p4 p4 seems alright we've got a car coming from behind us i'm not sure who it is they haven't pitted yet and let's see who it's going to be we can't see it's felipe nazar what <laughs> all right so we've got felipe nazar behind us he is on he's still on um his first set of tires so he's gone for a really weird strategy and he's actually got ahead of us and he's in p4 at the moment so at the moment it's looking pretty good for Felipe Nazar in his little manner. Very good indeed. So we'll have to see at the end of the race where he ends up. But so far, so good for the Brazilian driver. And we've got Lance Stroll on his debut just spinning up the rear wheels and putting his Williams in the wrong direction. Very, very embarrassing stuff on your debut for Formula 1. But we still can't get past Nazar. He's literally been stuck. So what we're going to do, we're going to go wrap his gearbox and we're going to make a very late move when I made that move I was like I held my breath because that was too close to call but we're on to P4 I'm coming back to come on to lap 9 I'm going to take a few positions in the pitch that'll be Magnussen and Esteban Ocon who is doing very well indeed we can see Verstappen just there not too far ahead but we've got warm tyres hopefully we can do something about it but you can see there's a huge crash between the two hash drivers of Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. Magnussen will be getting a telling off for that. And also we have Felipe Massa as well who is going very slowly. So the car's still struggling um, in this first race of pre-season. So Massa's going to park up his Williams and we're going to try and pursue Max Verstappen as much as possible. Lap 10 and we're just going to come along and Verstappen does what Sebastian Vettel did and we're going to take the lead of the Grand Prix which is so lucky for us because we just do not have the pace compared to Max Verstappen and we can see Verstappen has already caught up to us and he is just on a charge like, he is so quick it's actually a joke like we can't we're not actually physically able to do anything we just can't get past him if he makes mistakes like he did that's fine we can get past him and we can try and hold him up but at this rate we can't do anything but Valtteri Bottas looks like he's going to be able to do something here on Lewis Hamilton he's going to have a look to the outside and come back to the inside and Valtteri Bottas is going to get a bit of sweet move on his teammate if he can hold it which he can so Valtteri Bottas moves ahead of Lewis Hamilton that was very very good racing um, finishing off on lap 10 Vax Verstappen makes another another mistake coming into this I like to say it's because we're putting pressure on him but who are we kidding we're not putting any pressure on him whatsoever we're going to have a look at Verstappen and we're going to do what we did to Nazar from a further way back but you know it worked so if it ain't broke don't fix it so that makes us up to P1 we've got Verstappen going to come down our inside outside where is this kid going he's going to go from anywhere I don't think he really cares we're going to try and hold him off as best we can we're going to tap his wheels so he's going to drift around the corner we'll let him go because that's not very nice I'd be really annoyed if that was me but hey ho he's ahead of us once again so you know that's fantastic but we're going to have a look at him a few laps later I'm going to bang side pods as well so we are honestly just we're 
battle and this would be great television in all honesty but Verstappen's going to come back at us again and we're going to hold it this time I think we've got Nico Hulkenberg who has joined the party who's actually in P3 due to the the fact we've got no Sebastian Vettel and that the uh, Mercedes are struggling like hell so that's always good so it's just Red Bull and Ferrari this race and Verstappen's going to put us nearly on the grass and he really doesn't care does he let's face it he's got Hulkenberg for company so hopefully Hulkenberg can kind of slow him up um, just just a little bit we got Esteban Ocon now on Valtteri Bottas and now this I believe is for the podium position so it looks like Esteban Ocon is going to come round and take Valtteri Bottas for fourth place not the po not quite the podium but not far off we've got Max Verstappen now going and we, like I said we've got Nico Hulkenberg as well so this is going to be dangerous for us Verstappen goes deep and then Hulkenberg is going to get caught up with uh, Verstappen so how many more mistakes has Max got to make before we can get through? We've got on board with Max Verstappen now. And Hulkenberg comes across. And they both end up in the gravel. So that is both of them out. Which promotes Daniel Ricciardo up into fourth. And Esteban Ocon into fifth. That was crazy. But we are going to come across the line here. And we're going to take the first win of the season. I don't know how many more we'll get. Because we have not got a competitive car whatsoever. But if we keep lucking out like that. I'm pretty sure... We can do good, but let's go to Nick for the race report. A fascinating Australian Grand Prix saw the Finn Kimi Raikkonen take the first win of the season with Daniel Ricciardo taking second place in front of his home nation. And the podium was rounded off with a surprise appearance by Esteban Ocon debuting in the Force India. Another surprise of the race was Manus Felipe Nasser claiming fourth after his strategy of the race saw him finish ahead of both of the Mercedes drivers. Stoffel van Dorn made points in his new McLaren as did struggling Daniel Kvyat in the Toro Rosso. Pascal Verlein took advantage of the tyre strategy and found himself in ninth place, just ahead of Sergio Perez. Lance Stroll took the final place of the non-retirees in 13th as Hülkenberg collided with the Red Bull of Max Verstappen. It was the same case for Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Vettel, with other runners being plagued with engine failures across the board. As the aero bias and the new regulations for 2017, it seems that some teams are lacking in engine reliability early on. After the shot performances we have seen here today, the next race in China will surely be a very interesting prospect. So that's round one in the bag and done. We've got the second round of China, which I th think is a bit weird because I've never done China as round two before in my life, but we'll, uh, we'll struggle through it. Um, but yeah, China's going to be interesting. Until then, guys, see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.